in the world of, you know, clicks and all the rest of it, you've got to come up with a clever little headline, a good little angle, and one has been coming up here and there for the past little while. I'm not picking on my mates at news.com.au, but apparently Western Australia was deeply offended when the Prime Minister said this. In the crudes, people wanted to stay in the cave. Some wanted to stay in the cave, and that young girl, she wanted to go out and, and live again and deal with the challenges of living in a different world. Well, COVID is a new, different world, and we need to get out there and live in it. We can't stay in the cave, and we can get out of it safely. That's what the plan does. Well, you just you meandered to an area I never in my life thought you would meander to. <laughs> <laughs> so, to, just to be clear... Um, I like the movie. No <laughs> <laughs> that makes me relatable, doesn't it? Now, <laughs> Jenna Clark, <laughs> could you please, on the behalf of Western Australia, because I know that the Premier, he, he took to, uh, you know, the uh, very intimate format, uh, which definitely no staffer wrote whatsoever, of Facebook mm, to say, mm. this morning the Prime Minister made a comment implying Western Australians were like cave people. What an odd thing to say. I'll oh, stick it up, your jumper, pal. Does it, okay, tell me the truth. Is that how this was actually interpreted in Western Australia? Look, uh, Paul, we may have a lot of iron ore over here in WA, but we have some glass jaws, specifically up in Parliament House and obviously <laughs> around with our notable personalities. Don't like to be told what to do by those East Coasters. But uh, as for someone that ha who loves my friends, my Australian friends all around the country, I have to say to the Prime Minister, where's the lie? It's true, we've been enjoying living in this cave for the past 18 months now and it's time to start living with COVID. Let's get vaccinated and let's get this show on the road.